Hey guys, it's Irish again. Um, I know it's been a while since I've made a video. In the last video, I was trying to determine what uh, distro I was going to use, so it was such a hassle. I did try to go to OpenSUSE, but I right off the bat got a restart loop uh, that happens on NVIDIA, but my laptop is Intel, so I just didn't have time to fix it or look it up. So, next one I tried was Debian, but again, I got it up and running. But trying to get all the codecs and multimedia stuff, just getting everything set up was taking too long. So, I decided to reinstall, try to reinstall Arch again, and that's what I'm doing. So, I may just dual boot with Arch and another distro like Fedora or Mint or something else like that. So I can show you guys the two different uh, ways uh, on two different platforms. So, But in this video I thought I would do a uh, comparison video on Ranger and Midnight Commander. Now Ranger and Midnight Commander are file browsers but on the terminal based. So instead of like Thunar or Kaja or Nautilus, uh, you can run these in your terminal and be less, uh, less resource hungry then. So on the left hand side, I'm going to be running Ranger here. So as you can see, and then on the right hand side, it will be Midnight Commander. So you can kind of see the differences here. So Ranger uh, is done with Vim, so it does have the same Vim controls. So if you just go your back arrow, back arrow, uh, and then you can just go down to MNT or to your Etsy. So if we go to Home and go to my username, and then you can go to, we'll say, Documents. So you can look at the right hand side and then you can s see if it's written within a Vim or a terminal that you can read it. So if we go over to, so if we go here, this will, should open up, I don't know since it's in doc, okay. Um, so we could, uh, open that up. So um, if we go to videos uh, and just do like this one, it will open up my M player. Um, so it, Ranger has its own config file so it does not take your colors from your X resources. Um, a lot of people uh, like to tweak Ranger up a little bit and make it their own. It looks nicer than obviously Midnight Commander, but I'm sure you can do that too. So we can go. So right now you could see the hidden files. So like my Mutt or my News Buter or my Thunderbird, stuff like this, my Steam. Uh, so if we go to desktop, or let's we'll say we'll do videos again it will go down to videos and then you can do that and then it should open up like that so um, personally I like Ranger a little bit more than Midnight Commander but what Midnight Commander has over Ranger right off the bat without any doing anything to it if I go to my pictures, or let's go to my wallpapers, I can just open up a random one, and then it will show up, where if we go to the same one, if you look down here, it asks what to open up with. Right now I have shot well, but still, right off the bat, it incorporates whatever 
um, whatever uh, photo manager that you have right off the bat. So that's the only plus to Midnight Commander. Plus, you know, this blue uh, is really hard to look at. Um, let's see, uh, if we go up to the commands, uh, and then we can go to our configuration. Uh, so we can we can configure it uh, however we want it to look like. But um, you know, I like just to go off the out of the box experience to see what it looks like. And this blue color isn't uh, not that very uh, aesthetically pleasing. So. But I just wanted to make a video, tell you guys what I've been up to and uh, uh, future plans for this channel. I do hope to make, starting to make more uh, newbie friendly or sometimes even intermediate to advanced users may not understand where certain things are uh, in like the file system and just general stuff. So I do plan on making a video uh, laying out some of the basic stuffs about Linux and how you can transition a little bit better from Windows or Mac to Linux itself. So that is all I have for this video. I will uh, catch you guys in the next one.